if you thought beauty and brains don't go together you just have to see the next presenter and hear her talk also over to you anaga mm -hmm. <laughs> thank you sir thank you so much for your kind words i hope am i audible yes uh, yeah yeah absolutely yeah can you please start my video uh, this is a very simple uh, video actually the white challenge this was a 71 year old male who came with a hypermature cataract and a patchy anterior capsular fibrosis as you can see here we have stained the capsule with trypan blue and using a zepto assisted capsulotomy in fact in such cases well begun is half done if i had attempted a manual rexis there would be a high risk of an anterior capsular tear and uh, here we are you can see the capsule is very adherent to the underlying subcapsular tissues and we have to literally peel it off from all the sides with a micro forceps now after this is done this was not all in fact when we attempted the hydro dissection you can see the peripheral anterior capsularum is also adherent and we are trying to now gently do a blunt dissection with a spatula so from one side we were able to complete it and as we went on to the other side we could see that there was a very thick subcapsular fibrotic plaque now this had to be removed uh, properly with a, a sharp dissection so we used a 23 gauge micro scissors and micro forceps and then actually uh, cut off this capsule from all the sides the plaque are uh, taking care not to damage the anterior capsular rim so it was almost like a second capsulotomy uh, underneath was a relatively small but hard nucleus which was freely mobile and uh, in these cases uh, the integrity of the anterior capsular rim which is what would win you half the battle so we used a dispersive viscoelastic to pro protect the no uh, corneal endothelium and went ahead with um, the chopping technique and in these cases chopping can be a little tricky because there is no cushion at all of the epinucleus or of the cortex so you need to have very good fluidics a uh, good uh, hold on the nucleus and echo at the ca uh, ca capsular plane you can see that the glow is not so good so as you are reaching towards the end of the echo you need to change the sci mode so suddenly the glow is better and you can have a good visualization of the posterior capsule it's also important to reduce the vacuum settings towards the end to prevent any kind of surge and the risk of a pcr there's hardly any cortex here so uh, you can uh, uh, go ahead with a uh, intraocular lens implantation so we are implanting a hydrophilic acrylic uh, intraocular lens into the capsular bag and it's centered well however you can see there is also in the periphery there is a little bit of the subcapsular plaque and in many of these patients you feel that there is no cortex but if you go ahead and do a thorough cortical clean up you can see that there could be some chunk of uh, cortex which are still lying behind the uh, peripheral iris and that could come uh, into the center and it is important to complete this cortical aspiration otherwise there could be a cause of a recurrent inflammation in the post operative period uh once the cortical clean up is done uh, i could see, still see that there was the subcapsular plaque in the periphery so i'm trying to do a blunt uh, dissection of this however it was very very adherent and in one area in around the 6 o'clock it was a little loose again we tried with the sinski hook to see whether we could be uh, able to complete a dissection of the peripheral subcapsular plaque but it was not uh, easily possible and since it would not really impact the patient's vision we really left it at that and only the 6 o'clock part which was really loose we uh, cut it off and we were able to center the lens well and complete the surgery this was the stromal hydration and the patient did really well post op so basically it was a hypermature cataract this was the vision post op where uh, uh, the most important part was to achieve a strong circular uh, rexis which would give uh, which would uh, make the subsequent steps less risky so this was what i had to present thank you so much very nice